Welcome to Primal Survival. So this is the last episode on my Hoop House 2020 adventures as it is the end of the season. It is, uh, what's today? The 30th of September, I think. But um, this is what I got left. The last video here, last episode. So these are indeterminate tomato plants, which means they just grow, grow, and grow. They're indetermined, they just keep going. And they got huge. And they fell over. They were very cramped, as you can see from my other videos. I spread out all of the uh, barrels pretty far. So a, a total, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 barrels. And they were all jammed in this back half of the greenhouse. But um, they were just too cramped, and I spread them out been you know pruning them and stuff but these things just got out of control and I got some good yields off of them I'll show you some pictures of the yellow tomatoes see here's an example they're just on the floor growing on the floor it is a vine and they do put down roots whenever they uh, touch the ground see here's a whole bunch growing there's a bad one there something started to eat it so but I'm pretty much done with tomatoes for this year this was just an experiment I never really made a grow operation this big. I am a beginner. And I did get discouraged whenever they got too jammed up and I had to separate them and they got broken and they fell over. And then there was some worms on them so I had to dust them with some with some uh, poison and I wasn't too happy about that. But um, I did eat some tomatoes off these this year. I learned a ton. So... The things I learned is don't group them all together so close to have everything neat and tidy. You know, like you're like, I want to see how much I can jam inside this greenhouse. That was my idea. And I wanted them in a certain area and lots of room over here to do stuff. But, you know, that just didn't work out. And also know what kind of plants you're planting. So these 10 of these were given to me as starts. And we didn't even know if they were yellow or reds. Um... Or indeterminates or determinates so I didn't know what I was dealing with I put them in here put a whole bunch of fertilizer on them they blew up got huge fell over and uh, it's been the struggle bus ever since I moved them and um, but they're still producing as you can see there's a nice one laying on the ground there's one there there's one growing down there let me see there's one growing over there. There's a whole bunch right there. Yeah, I'm just gonna go around and show you the ones that are growing. There's one, there's one. So I'm just gonna keep watering these and taking care of them until all the fruit that's on here right now just ripens up. And then I'm gonna rip them all down and replant something. Next year I wanna do sweet potatoes. So sweet potatoes are in the rose family. They're not even in the potato family like you would think. Potato is nightshade, um, but they are in the, the rose family, sweet potatoes. And they actually start from a something called a slip. Something called a slip. And it, uh, you gotta buy them, or you can start them if you have the foresight to do it, which I should, right? I'm talking about it. I should go out and buy some sweet taters and start slips. That's what I need to do, actually, all winter, because it takes like two months for them to even start, uh, putting out slips to use see there's one there looks like something something crawled up here and took a bite of that one I'm not surprised that I'm feeding the wildlife I do live in the Ozarks and that's what goes on right here there's another big one but all right that's it for this episode kind of a short one but uh next year I'm gonna do I do want to do some tomato plants and I'm gonna do them outside because if I'm gonna dust them anyway I might as well put them outside in the sun where they can grow out onto the ground or I might make like a you know a wooden trellis for them um, but not maybe just like maybe just like five or six tomato plants and grow them good and big and pay a lot of attention to them instead of you know quality over quantity idea so whoa 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 there's the monarch butterfly I don't know if you can see it he's trying to get out whoa Hello, mister. Hey, you want to get out of this thing? Go, fly away, fly. 
Uh, he's pretty. All right, well, hit that like, share, subscribe button if you like what I'm doing out here. If you got any pointers, please leave them in the comments. Please be kind to me <laughs> because I'm still learning. Uh, so, all right, we'll see you later. Have a blessed day.